what why do you think it's important for us to make our work um i think it's just there's something like inside you that you know conjures up all these ideas and putting it into reality and making it is very satisfactory i guess even if even if it's a failure um it's still extremely valuable uh especially if you share your process around the work because there's so many other like-minded people that are struggling with the same obstacles um and if you can make this work or make your work or bring your ideas to life and then share that with people but more importantly so sharing the process um that's what i've found of recent is people's processes i recently uh, part of the mentorship uh, photographer john omelish came and spoke and i've been following john o since i started taking pictures in 2000 and i think it was as early as 2000 and 15 or 14 it's a long time ago and i've watched him grow over the years and he signed with a gallery now and stuff like that because i've always looked up to his work and for the first time uh, all these years later even though me and jono like are acquaintances but for the first time i saw him speak and i heard how he talks about his work and everything and hearing that was massive for me just hearing a bit of his process and understanding it really just it clarifies things for you it really helps you as an individual move forward with your work when you hear someone that you aspire to speak about their process and i guess it's why is it important to make your work um because no matter how bad or good i guess all your work is important um bad work teaches you mistakes what not to make again and good work teaches you what works i guess so absolutely um, yeah but, i yeah making work and share but i guess the the key thing is to be able to share the process yeah. i think yeah yeah um, that's why yeah. that's how canister came about um yes. i was i was working with antonia stain and um she was you know she's incredibly successful commercial photographer and she was uh, uh, was consulting with her as a mentor for her uh, personal body of work that she was working on and um she was just navigating how to change languages um cuz she was using the same medium but doing two radically different processes and i felt at the at at the at one stage of our uh interaction that uh, it, she would really the project would really benefit from more than one person's feedback so we had cheese and wine in her um studio one night and david southwood and ollie kruger and megan kirkwood was out from the states uh, she's at she's an american photographic artist and at washington university at the moment we're heading up the photography department and we all came together one night and she showed just you know casually and she showed the work and she had these epic breakthroughs also realizing that she actually already had the work so that it was right there in her archive and uh, you know that 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 um a uh, chemistry between different artists the um the conversation was just so valuable and so then we started a weekly i started a weekly feedback sessions with people sharing their experience and some amazing um collaborations have come out of that so it's like and what the the what what you uh, reminded me of is that um our strength is that we can work so well independently we have the ability and because we're creative we can problem solve but it's also the thing that works against us sometimes is that you know we become yeah. isolated and also it's a soup mix for you know all those different parts of uh, the creative brain and you know the inner critic to kind of get into like a spin and then to have these uh, amazing mentorship programs that Gerard is offering and um 
you know, feedback sessions, just it airs, it just opens up options and possibilities to go where you can't think of, which kind of shine light into our blind spots, right? Absolutely. Yeah. No, very much so. Um, I think I was very isolated for a long time um, for various reasons. Um, and I think I'm sort of now breaking free from that isolation because of realizing how important feedback is. Um, yeah, Isol isolation can work for certain things, but not everything. So yeah, I think community, community is extremely important. Um, yeah, it really helps motivate you to keep pushing. Yeah. And I know that I took part in like, yeah, in like the early canister sessions when it was still locked down and stuff like that. Um, um, yeah, I'm sad that I didn't continue at that time, but yeah, at that time thing, yeah, it was just a different, a different energy at play. Um, but it's nice to now sort of be coming and especially coming from a background with having no formal education regarding anything you know you don't i didn't understand that whole you kind of think you can go okay no no it's fine you know i can do this on my own but um then yeah if my weakness is an inner critic and i think that i can do something on my own i'm just it's a recipe for disaster <laughs> so I it's think, nice to break free from that right but i also think that um um uh, uh, uh you know I want to just say a less a less harsh criticalness on yourself is also to say that mm. um, you know there's there's something pivotal that happens right and the pivotal point is that we're making work in isolation and you know actually we're channeling really because you're not really making yeah. it in isolation you're taking a whole lot of information and process and thought and it's this kind of thing that happens but then there's a pivotal yeah. moment where that work needs to start going out into the world and the feedback is super handy when um because that once the work is on the walls it no longer belongs to you a different process starts happening and that's when somebody else gets conf is is in front of your work the the work takes on a life of its own and that's what you yeah. and that's what that feedback is super handy and helpful for because um is what you are are saying being received um or are people coming to it and going you know it's picking up something completely different, which absolutely wasn't your intention. I know somebody recently yes. made a work and the feedback was like porn, porn, porn. And the artist was like, how do you even remotely see that? And the conversation mm. was really um, angled at that's how it's being received. Whether that's your intention yes. or not, that's how it's received.